hearing the truth. The Qur'an and the Sunnah indicate that the act of shirk sometimes expels a person from the religion of Islam, and sometimes it does not. Therefore, Islamic scholars divided shirk into the categories of major shirk and minor shirk. Major shirk, shirk al-akbar in Arabic, is a very serious sin and takes one out of the folds of Islam. Major shirk is ascribing to someone other than God, Allah in Arabic, something that belongs only to God, such as lordship, rububiyya, divinity, and the divine names and attributes of God. These gods can be in form of priests, kings, objects, animals, spirits, or anyone or anything other than Allah. Major shirk can come in form of beliefs, words, or actions. Major shirk can be seen outwardly, such as when one worships idols or graves, and can be hidden, such as when one relies upon gods other than Allah. Major shirk occurs when one prays or supplicates to one other than Allah. Major shirk includes believing someone or something other than Allah who creates and gives life and death and is in full control of everything. Major shirk also includes the belief that someone other than Allah must be obeyed. Major shirk also includes the belief that others apart from Allah have knowledge of the unseen. Major shirk also includes the act of loving something that is a created being equally or more than Allah. For example, this occurs when one is emotionally attached to wealth, that they make it its attainment to their goal in life. Wealth becomes everything to them. Those individuals took money as their god. Major shirk also includes loving to obey one's own desires more than Allah. Consequently, one would follow their desires even if it leads to disobeying God. Such one takes their desires as their God, as they act according to their whims. God states, Have you seen he who has taken as God his own desire? And Allah has sent him astray due to knowledge and has set a seal upon his hearing and his heart and put over his vision a veil. So who will guide him after Allah? Then will you not be reminded? Minor shirk, shirk al azghar in Arabic, does not make the doer a disbeliever or remove one from the folds of Islam. However, minor shirk is still a very serious sin. Minor shirk includes everything that may lead to major shirk. Minor shirk includes any action which is done in order to gain praise, fame, or any other worldly purpose. This is considered shirk because the individual is doing an action for other people instead of for the sake of God. Examples of this can be in the form of praying to God in front of others with the intention to gain praise from the people, or the example of one donating to charity with the intention of showing off, to gain fame, or any other worldly purpose. When one commits such action, the good action gets nullified and the doer receives no reward for it. Our Prophet stated, The thing that I fear most for you is minor shirk. His companions responded, What is minor shirk? He responds, Riyah. Truly, Allah shall say on the day of resurrection to the people who used to do good deeds for show, go to those whom you were showing off with your deeds in worldly life and see if you can find with them recompense. Minor shirk also includes swearing oaths made by those other than Allah. For example, saying I swear by such and such. It can be major shirk depending on certain situations. Minor shirk can also include the belief in evil omens or superstitions. When the act of minor shirk becomes a habit in all of one's deeds, it becomes major shirk. One should be cautious of shirk, as this evil can be inconspicuous and not be as noticeable. Our Prophet stated, Al shirk al khafi, the inconspicuous shirk in the Muslim nation, is more inconspicuous than the creeping of a black ant on a black rock in the pitch darkness of the night. Therefore, one should take extra precaution to avoid the commission of this sin. According to the Qur'an, one who commits shirk and believes in a deity other than Allah will live a life of constant fear and anxiety. We will cast terror in their hearts of those who disbelieve for what they have associated with Allah, of which he had not sent down any authority. And their refuge will be the fire, and wretched is the residence of the wrongdoers. Qur'an 3, 151